Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. And uh, as I promised, uh, we're going to finally take a peek up underneath Bertha's apron and see what's there. But before I do that, I just want to make one last comment about the uh, lathe banjos and change gears. <clears throat> you recall, hopefully this is in frame here, uh, you know, you have a steel sleeve and then you have this bushing with the two keys that the gear slide on. These, this bushing, th this uh, sleeve actually, when it's fastened in, is, is stationary. It doesn't move. And the sleeve uh, spins on this bushing, okay? So, uh, although I didn't mention it, it's very, 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 very important. Make sure you get, you know, make sure that you oil this bushing and the sleeve where they go together, okay? And uh, when you periodically, um, you know, every time you change uh, gears, uh, be sure to oil those up. Um, if you uh, keep your gear set up like on feed speeds for long, long, long periods of time because you don't turn any threads or something like that, you do probably want to occasionally pull these apart and give them a good oiling. So I just wanted to mention that uh, because I don't think that I did uh, during the last uh, video. So uh, here we are at, with the apron. Uh, I've removed it from the saddle and uh, <clears throat> it's held onto the saddle by uh, these two screws right here and then there are a couple pins coming through the saddle that go through these um, holes. So I have a, the tools that I think that I need all set out here and then I've got just a magnetic bowl that I'm going to put small parts in. So um, take these two screws out and let's take a little bit of a look at what we got going on here. Now um, there are some other videos out there of the apron that I probably uh, would cover everything that you need and I'm really only doing this for thoroughness and and uh, just point out a couple of things that are a little bit odd about mine. Uh, the first thing that I notice on the front that there's this hole. This hole is threaded and uh, I looked at uh, several drawings and stuff and that hole's not there. Now this one here goes all the way through. Now what what was it? I have no clue. I don't know why it's there. Okay, so um, to the best of my knowledge, knowledge, that's not supposed to be there. If somebody knows something different, please let me know. The other thing um, that I want to point out was that there was a lot of wear, uh, particularly on uh, the lead screw pinion um, key, and we'll take a closer look at that, and on this bevel gear here that drives the gear for the cross feed. Okay? But now, pulling this apart and taking a close look, you see that we have these little ball oilers, and somebody, tell me what these are called. I think uh, someone said, I think I remember someone saying they're Gitz oilers. Now my oil can doesn't have the little thing to push the ball in to oil it. So uh, another question uh, while you guys are watching, could you uh, send me a link of uh, where to buy an oil can that has that little, um, that little piece on the end that depresses that ball to, to oil these? Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. <clears throat> the other thing I want to point out here is that, you know, at some point in history this was painted and that little oiler there is painted closed and this little oiler over here looks like it probably was painted closed so I don't know if I'll have to replace these oilers or if um, if I can salvage these so anyway let's uh, this uh, obviously needs to be taken apart and cleaned up so let's start with that let's start with it here and and uh, we'll look on the back side and we see there's basically uh, three main components here uh, of this apron. You have the half nuts that uh, open and close uh, for threading and feeding. You have this, you know, this assembly here which uh, uh, the lead screw drives and will either, um, will either uh, drive uh, the half nuts to feed it longitudinally or, you know, we can engage this here and, and, uh, and and uh, feed the cross slide. And then finally you have this little cluster over here that uh, handle comes through and then this this uh, little gear right here on the end uh, runs on the rack so that you can run the the uh, carriage uh, up and down the bed. So I think um, I think to dissemble this I'm just going to start with one part and work my way down. So I'm going to start with the uh, the split nuts. Now the split nuts uh, should have a 
a spring and a ball in here that uh, allows it to sit in the detent and and if you guys I know many of you have probably already seen this before so uh, feel free to fast forward but let's just I just want to get it apart so we can see what we got here so there's the set screw there should be a spring and a ball in here all right well I can't get that out so let's uh let's see here we got two screws that hold this part here that holds the half nut so let's uh let's back those out or take those out I'm trying to remember that there should be a spring and a ball in this hole and I don't want to lose it And I tell you another uh this is just a handy tip for you know people who are really new like me you know these oil cans they're all that I've the, at least the one I got is very top heavy and you sit it down and it wants to fall over uh, I discovered that uh, mine being a steel can setting it down in my magnetic bowl sure makes it uh, sure makes it nice to hold the can because it won't uh, come apart okay so as I look here I see my ball stuck there and here's my spring so I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out so that I don't don't want to oops there went the ball so where did it go where did it go there it is okay so I don't want to lose those alright so you see the half nuts have pens the pens right in these little cams and the cams actuate it up and down and then the um, half nuts just slide in now the carriage well there's a little pen take that back so the so to get that out you'll have to remove this little threaded pen so let's take one of these out and see what we got here So that should allow the half nut slide out, and it does. And let's take a good close look at it here. So uh, it's it's worn, um, probably about halfway. I don't have any spares at the moment, so I'm going to reuse these. So I'm going to clean these up, and I'm just going to uh, make sure I put the pin back in the assembly. Where did it go? Oh, it was in the middle. Okay. Alright, so take those and we'll need to clean those up. So what we have left here, um, the handle, that looks like it's peened over and there's an oiler. So I'm not sure, that would almost have to be pressed off there I think. So I have to come back to that. Alright, so here we have... Uh, a couple of bolts that looks like the 11 sixteenths here see they're all painted shut hopefully I can get that off okay that went Okay, and this one um, looks like it's made very much like the one for the reversing gearbox where we have a pen that slides through. I'm going to have to have a punch or something to get that out. All right. Okay, so there, there that is. And again, that one's uh, just like the... Uh, one uh, looks identical to me to the one from the um, or pretty similar to the one from the change gearbox alright so that's that piece there's no washer or anything in there 
So next, um, this part here li driven by the lead screw and it's got a nut. Put that on here. And I believe, what is that? Nope. All right, so that's five eighths. Now, according to the drawings, this has a uh, a shim on the back side. Let's take a look here. It's like there's a couple of alignment pins. There is, and then there's a little brass shim. Okay. And be careful. Okay, so that had a little brass shim. There's a couple of alignment pins here. Get my arm out of the way. Uh, that this bolted on. Went just like that with the shim behind it, and then. Of course, this collar just has a set screw that locks it on. We should be able to thread that off. I think it's threaded. No, it's not threaded. It must just be just a collar. So let me back the set screw out here. Maybe that is threaded. No, I don't think so. Alright, so. Alright, so there's just a collar with a set screw. And, of course, that has a bushing. But now, the part that I really want to talk about here is so do you see the key? Can you see that? It's very, very thin. Um, there's actually still quite a bit of meat really left on the on the gear, but like I said, I just think that the key is worn out. And then if we look at the cross feed um, bevel gear, we see those are those are pretty sharp and feeling pretty rough. Okay, so Let me get these parts over here in my bowl. So I don't lose them. And uh, let's take a look at this next bit here. Now this shaft here um, looks like there might be a pin through there that holds that on. Uh, can't really tell. Looks like probably a place for oil, and this is spring-loaded, so maybe I'll have to pick that out and take a look, but I'm going to just clean up some stuff first. So let's pull our drive handle off. Now, <laughs> I thought this was 5 eighths. It's not, and 11 sixteenths is way too large. So I'm going to use everybody's favorite wrench here. Pull the handle off. We have a nut and a washer. I should just pull off and mm. of course it never works that way does it there's a key there mm. all right well I'm gonna have to Get a punch and punch that out. Alright. So, there's the hand wheel. And then there's a little woodruff key here. I'll put that over here so we don't lose it. And then this drive shaft here just slides out. <clears throat> now, this little assembly here, which I do want to clean. Now, this is a little different. I've noticed uh, <laughs> I got a bolt. Looks like a stud with a square carriage nut and a cap head screw. So, but on the inside, looks like these are kind of locked in position by 
square nuts so I'm gonna back those out see what happens here so we'll start with maybe this one There's a square nut and a lock washer there. And then we have a little bolt over here. And then finally, got a square nut over here. It looks like it's going to thread out. Now, one thing I noticed there, these are all countersunk holes, look like they would take a socket head cap screw. So I think perhaps maybe I'll see if I can find some socket head cap screws and put in there. Now this piece here should just come off, and it does. Now this casting just holds, holds these two gears in the shaft. And the only reason why I'm taking out this all apart is because I really want to get it good and clean. So, alright, so I think for now I'm going to have to give a little study on it. I, I need to figure out how to get these other bits out. And then when I do, I'll come back. So, but in the meantime, I want to clean it up. So, I don't want to, I don't want to waste too much of your time with that. So, um, when I get that far, I'll bring the camera back and we'll record and we'll go from there. So, thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm back and I uh, got the stuff cleaned up and uh, boy have I noticed some stuff, okay? Um, first of all, this uh, little knob, I did get it out. There's just a, uh, like a 16th inch pen that uh, drives through there. So that, that's, uh, that's uh, off and it's all cleaned up, ready to go. Um, but, now the lever that drives the half nuts According to the wiring diagrams, if I got got it in frame here, there's supposed to be a uh, a screw here or a bolt that holds this on. But you see, this one looks like um, looks like it's peened over, and I didn't want to risk pulling it out, so I left uh, I left the lever in there. Uh, there's a gets oiler there, so hopefully I or I think that's what they're called. Uh, so at least I can get some oil down to it, and we'll oil it up real good. Um, all right, so few things that I wanted to point out uh, and so I'm open to some suggestions here so I don't know if it's visible but you see this casting is cracked along here and maybe it won't matter since the bolt runs through and screws into the part that's here um, but I did notice that okay and another interesting thing if you look over here you see some little holes right and I have no idea what this uh, little tap screw here is for it was in there and I didn't take it out but uh as I was looking on the bracket when I was cleaning it I happened to notice these little look like pens and then I got out down um, real close and see if we can get it there can you see that that's a broken off tap there 
and there. So I don't know why they were trying to tap and fasten this to uh, to the uh, to the apron like that. You know, maybe because they that might explain why I have uh, three different bolts, right? Okay, let's see, what else did I notice? Oh, I noticed um, on the split nut housing, you know, that holds the split nuts, um, you see one of those is cracked, right? And the screws, for whatever reason, were really garbled up. Let's see if this is the... Oh, that's, not, that's not the real bad one. But anyway, I cleaned up these threads and I run a tap back through these because um, they would only go in about uh, about three eighths of an inch, and they would stop. But you see, can you can you see that right in there? So so anyway, um, the split nuts are uh, are about worn pretty good. But like I said, I don't have another pair, so I might be on the lookout for some of those. Um, the other thing that I noticed was now this is the gear that drives the cross slide is uh, pretty worn and sharp points too but I don't have this and then this uh, this gear just presses onto a square shaft and then the shaft is peened over so and it is a little loose so alright so that's uh, that's kinda what I got I had a lot of burrs that I had to remove uh, and that sort of stuff um, but anyway, it's uh, it's ready to go back together. So I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll start that. So.